Commission is actually about the new project. Start off. This presentation. Uh, this presentation uh, is about a new project, it's a startup uh, we are currently working on with uh, different people and with uh, different teams. Uh, so it's also the first time I had the chance to uh, uh, introduce the topic and also, uh, also get some feedback uh, about it. So please consider it a proposal and you're more than welcome to provide uh, your comments and uh, also your suggestions. of this project is to focus on primary education. Uh, the objective is not to focus on the students or to provide direct uh, students to uh, uh, material, but actually to improve uh, Wikipedia articles related to primary education content. So the focus is to uh, look at the curricula and what are the primary education um, ask students to learn and to see what is uh, their status on Wikipedia and to see in which way and in which languages can be improved. So the first uh, aspect I'd like to highlight is the reason. Um, I think Wikipedia is uh, uh, at the moment presenting a lot of opportunity. Uh, Wikipedia is meant to be an educational tool and at the same time uh, primary education is considered a priority all over the world. In 2015 uh, it would be the, dead one, the deadline of the Millennium Goal and uh, uh, primary school is definitely one at the center also of uh, uh, education in general, considered as a basic need, as something that we need to work together to provide and to improve. Another important issue is the distribution of uh, Wikipedia or mobile phones, which is increasing uh, incredibly the potentiality of access also in countries where you might have a, a more limited uh, uh, connection or connectivity to a computer. So mobile phone and providing mobile um, free access to Wikipedia, mobile phone is also a new opportunity. Um, another important uh, 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 kind of initiative that is happening at the moment is the increase of offline access to Wikipedia. So Wikipedia can be provided offline on computer, on a stick, or on, uh, on DVD, uh, like it was done in, in Kenya, or on a new stick like uh, Africadia and Kibbutz are doing currently in Western Africa. So uh, there is an increased access of Wikipedia. But the question is, uh, uh, is Wikipedia, how is Wikipedia used, and how could it be used uh, in better ways? Um, one of the answers comes from uh, one of the projects that have been implemented in Kenya, and uh, 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 students that receive access to Wikipedia offline were extremely happy about it. But what they noticed is that, uh, unfortunately, Wikipedia didn't provide what they needed for their curriculum. Um, this is a, a particularly uh, uh, relevant topic when we, when we talk about uh, uh, a lot of content on Wikipedia. Uh, Wikipedia is not providing, at the moment, um, there are a lot of goals on Wikipedia. There is a lot of space also for improvement. Another aspect that is uh, useful to highlight, highlight is that uh, working on a topic like uh, primary uh, education can be also a way to uh, um, uh, increment or uh, uh, to trigger uh, different kind of uh, different uh, uh, version of Wikipedia in different languages. So it can be also a way to um, increase the number of articles uh, in, uh, in different linguistic uh, uh, edition of Wikipedia but also to focus on creating a coordinated effort also coming from different places. Um, and the last reason I think is uh, interesting to focus on is uh, the kind of education we are providing. Um, one thing uh, that I find particularly, uh, uh, well, education has always been an uh, ideological tool. Uh, nation uh, create their citizens uh, through education. So the history they uh, the history is told in school and the textbook represent a tool also to uh, obviously uh, disseminate a message. And I think uh, it's interesting with the uh, uh, aim of uh, uh, providing the information in a neutral po in a, in a, in a, in a point of view and uh, by diversifying uh, the, the different aspects, uh, by highlighting uh, the different aspects of a topic from different uh, um, points of view, it's interesting how we 
media can provide a completely new uh, educational tool. And it can be also thought uh, for an international, uh, uh, an international dynamic by putting together uh, the effort of uh, more than one nation. So uh, a real uh, questioning education and also thinking about what we want people to access as content. The last, uh, um, obviously, the last aspect of this idea is how to implement. Um, what we did uh, related to the, the project of Wikipedia Primary School, that we uh, first of all developed a feasibility study. So basically, we worked on uh, um, on uh, looking at uh, uh, what is the study that we focused on Africa with a, a feasibility study called, called uh, Wiki Africa Primary School. That was developed in November 2012, and uh, we look at uh, different things. So we look at uh, how uh, languages are uh, 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 African, uh, which are the languages used uh, in, uh, in the African uh, educational system, in uh, primary education. Uh, we look at uh, what is the status of those languages uh, on Wikipedia, and then we look at uh, how primary school education works in different country. Um, we just going to quickly highlight uh, two of those uh, two of the findings of the research. So um, I'm just going uh, uh, to just going to give uh, uh, the floor to Luca Martinelli, who worked uh, on uh, this feasibility study, uh, specifically on uh, uh, the research on Wikipedia. Uh, statistics, uh, you see, 
most of the articles, uh, we, we also found, we also put a, 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 a limit of 54 articles. So we, uh, we thought that uh, at least the, the African Wikipedia have articles about African states. This proved to be wrong in two thirds of the cases. And mostly, of course, the, the articles are like uh, Mali is an African state, period. Then there is an, an info box, maybe or not. So it, it is not sure. Now. Then we, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm really going fast because we have a little time, but please call, uh, run after me and ask me everything. I'll be more than, uh, than happy to give you my, uh, the, 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 my part of, uh, of, the, of the search. We made also some quality assessment on the on our video. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry. Uh, about the uh, 126 articles we tried uh, to find on the Wikipedia. Um, the top six uh, versions, so uh, the, the, the colonialist version, let's say, they have from 95 to 100 percent of the of the articles. The Africans is the best one with a 76 percent of the articles, two thirds. But still, the, the, the average quality is, uh, is higher on the English and the French Wikipedia. Because they have 17 good quality articles on the English one and 6 on the French one. Italian is unfortunately still not at that average quality. Uh, one important thing I found out is that the voice, uh, the, sorry, the, the, the articles about HIV is well written even in, in, in English, in French, and even in Italian. That's, that's the, the only thing I, uh, I found out that, that, could be, that could be interesting. So basically, to conclude, we, found that we thought of two things. The first one is how to tackle the, 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 the low uh, rolling rates of the African based Wikipedia. One answer could be Wikidata, because now, uh, while uh, we are going to put all the data, all the relevant data, mostly on the African countries, but mostly uh, about our articles on that project, so they uh, so that can be uh, that they can be um, uh, recollected from them, and so this will have good bootstrap. That's what we did. Uh, that's sorry. That's what we did actually in all the Italian Wikipedia. We started making articles about our municipalities, and users started to edit their own municipalities article. So we are thinking that the same, that the same thing could, could happen also on the African based wiki. Of course there are other reasons, but there is no time actually. And the other thing is that the English and the French Wikipedia are sufficiently ready to be brought in this project, which uh, since they are the, the two most spoken art, uh, languages in Africa, it could be a start. But then we need actually to, 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 to solve the, the problem of the African based uh, Wikipedia in order to make our project also more African and more Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to remind a couple of other things. The reason why uh, uh, there has been a focus on, uh, on African language is that there is a very, there has always been a very strong discussion about uh, how to uh, increase uh, the quality and how to increase the number of uh, community members that edit uh, uh, the so-called, in particular, African local languages. Um, what it was interesting uh, in uh, observing the educational, the primary school educational system, is that uh, uh, official and unofficial languages become very important, in particular in the first years of education. So there is a real uh, need and request of the use of local languages in this, uh, um, uh, in this, in particular in this part of the education, both uh, by the uh, a request from the teachers and from uh, the parents of the students. Um, and this uh, uh, brings us uh, to uh, the next point, which is uh, the research on uh, uh, primary school and primary education in the different countries. Um, as uh, Luca was mentioning, um, uh, well, we did several research, and by the way, this, uh, uh, this visibility study has been developed by a team. Uh, so uh, we are two of the people involved uh, in the group in South Africa working on it, and also an organization in Cameroon contributing, and another researcher in sociology in, uh, in Italy contributing. We look at different uh, uh, type of countries, uh, because uh, uh, Italy for us was interesting because we'd like also to develop it in Italy, but also because, uh, of course, uh, being a member of the European uh, Union allows also to look at the uh, programs and also and how uh, primary education is uh, uh, also working in, uh, in Europe. 
and uh, Cameroon is a bilingual country, and uh, uh, we are also developing a pilot project over there. And uh, in South Africa, it's specifically interesting because uh, education has been one of the center of a uh, very strong investment from the government. And we're talking about a country in which 11 languages are used within the educational system. So uh, one of the research uh, related to South Africa, just to give you an idea, look at uh, some of the statistics to get an overview of the system. Um, an important point uh, related to primary education that maybe sometimes is not so considered is that in the majority of countries of the world, uh, uh, primary education requires an exam. Uh, so uh, uh, you need to, uh, uh, to obtain a title to finish your primary school education. It's not always the case in all countries, and sometimes uh, we might uh, uh, underestimate the importance. We looked at also at how resources are used in schools, uh, uh, mobile phones, uh, what is the status of the education, which uh, are the challenges according to teachers uh, and uh, particularly people working in the education system. Um, what it came out with uh, a huge list of challenges, of course. Uh, um, some of them are particularly significant for uh, 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 structural challenges. Uh, but what is uh, an interesting opportunity related to uh, primary education is also how Wikipedia can move to take into consideration also the leader. And also an institution or inst different institutions like us, like chapters, like an uh, institution working in education, can really uh, maybe point out uh, or coordinate a network that doesn't, uh, um, that can really target a specific content. Also another aspect that of course we browsed was uh, the potential collaboration. Uh, uh, another aspect that we, uh, that we wanted to browse and we, uh, we look at uh, uh, throughout the, the study was obviously the open educational resources uh, uh, status, which is of course uh, uh, the project is meant to be developed. Uh, so to conclude, uh, after we did this uh, study, so we launched this idea, uh, what we are currently working on is uh, the startup uh, of the project, and we're mainly focusing on uh, um, on different. Uh, uh, well, we're focusing on different aspects. So, on one side, uh, there is an interest, of course, in developing the pro project uh, uh, in the on the ground. So, working in collaboration with school and having activities uh, in the different country that want to join in. And on the other side, we want to also work uh, online with a different strategy. One is, of course, uh, open educational resources. At the moment, uh, uh, there are open educational resources. Uh, the emphasis is not on primary education. And also, very often, uh, open educational resources are not uh, available in a compatible license with Wikipedia. They are uh, uh, non-commercial uh, use. Um, uh, another aspect is, of course, the necessity of defining, which is uh, a list of articles we, we think is important. We, uh, we started defining it, but of course uh, it needs to be managed by a committee, by a group of people that are uh, uh, both Wikipedians, both educators, uh, teachers, people that want to involve, and also a uh, system to assess the quality. Uh, there are different, different uh, the, the objective of the project is also to uh, uh, test the different possibilities. One of the uh, uh, ideas, one of the proposals we are thinking of is a uh, Wikipedia scientific journal which is actually an aggregator of uh, uh, journals that are already working in similar uh, uh, direction. For example, PLOS uh, Journal is a peer review journal that has published a Wikipedia article related, of course, to its specific uh, domain. And uh, a technique like this one could be a, a way of uh, um, assessing quality outside Wikipedia, creating also a peer review system and encouraging uh, researchers and people working in the field to contribute. I'm just going to conclude with what we don't want to do. So the aim is not to create a, a school book. Uh, Wikipedia is Wikipedia, so the aim is simply to enrich an encyclopedia that already exists and making sure that, for example, the article about uh, Uganda and Africa and uh, the climate uh, around the world is uh, sufficiently good to be uh, used also in education. Because at the moment, there are very strange gaps. So it's extremely incoherent, uh, the, the landscape. Um, another important issue, I think, is political. This is not meant to be uh, a project uh, 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 creating links with government and ministry. It doesn't matter. We have the advantage of being independent, so it's something that uh, has a real sense to use it as much as we can. Uh, the idea is simply taking, uh, uh, using the, uh, uh, the questionnaire and using the exams that exist to kind of define which could be uh, relevant uh, 
I also think that Wikipedia might give the wrong answer. I think this is a, um, when we were browsing the primary school uh, books, uh, the textbook in Cameroon, uh, there's a chapter in uh, primary school that uh, explains uh, human beings. And it says human beings are divided into three groups. Uh, there are the blacks, uh, who are mainly in Africa, the Asian, which uh, are the most uh, numerous in the world, and the uh, whites, that are big in Europe. And uh, this is a chapter of uh, uh, the current uh, uh, primary school book in Cameroon. So we don't expect that Wikipedia will give the right, an the, uh, the right answer compared to the test. We hope that Wikipedia can provide information that makes education better. Concerning the age of your primary school uh, students, because on each picture I saw there, there are, in my opinion, not primary school, they are older than primary school. From, so, from which age on you think that the education using this uh, Wikipedia article is suitable? It's quite a, also sincerely, is a, um, the idea is to create a scalable project so that can be developed in different countries. First of all, there is a, it has to be said that the primary, what is called primary education is quite, a, uh, is not so strictly defined, and in particularly uh, in some of the country we target, uh, it's quite uh, uh, common to have uh, in classrooms, uh, in first years of primary education, also adults. Uh, so the age group is not really the priority. Uh, we focused on primary education simply to say uh, we want to uh, upgrade uh, Wikipedia and look at uh, focusing on some of the articles. So start little by little looking at the uh, major content that are used in education. For example, if you live in Cameroon, you, want, you need uh, information about history and geography of, of your country, um, uh, local, your local town often is very important. That is why uh, Luca was also mentioning uh, the importance also of uh, creating data set uh, about uh, uh, administration in your country, because then you see yourself uh, in the encyclopedia. Uh, you need uh, general information about uh, geography, climate. So we're talking about uh, the, the general topic. And what is interesting about developing it in different countries is the combination of that. So uh, if your classmate is from uh, uh, Kenya or Lithuania or whatever, um, then you're going to see the quality of the article. And it's also enriching in any class of the world. So it's quite useful also to be able to have a, a broader geography and a broader understanding of the world. But uh, we didn't look at age groups. So we really focused more on the idea of starting with uh, uh, a selection of content that, that are quite obvious that they need to be on Wikipedia. I think you should be aware of the age group because I think if you go too, too old. To but it's very complicated. Year. For so the uh, case studies we did, uh, the heter heterogeneity of the classes is quite uh, determinant. And in particular in a uh, uh, post-war situation or in uh, places of conflict, this is actually an interesting uh, place to bring also Wikipedia as a resource. You really see that uh, uh, they don't I, I do understand your point, but it's actually quite, uh, uh, and also, for example, literacy and uh, calculus are major skills that you need to uh, learn in primary school. Of course, we're not focusing on this. Uh, Wikipedia is an encyclopedia, so it will provide what it can provide to your primary school. Uh, for some of the 
project you are mentioning also uh, simplified English for Wiki Kids, uh, which is a, a new proposal also for a language uh, Wiki Mini. Uh, there are several projects that are focusing on uh, uh, children and uh, school and education. And of course, the idea is any way to implement the synergy and to find ways of collaborating. It makes uh, completely sense that a project that wants to be ambitious, so you want to do something in many countries, works with other. So I absolutely, yes, it's open. And uh, we are in discussion also with some of the promoters. So, yes. From your experience, do you think that the Can you speak louder, please? Okay. From your experience, do you think that the, the level of writing of uh, youngsters in elementary school is uh, sufficient? I mean, for so, so how do you deal with it? Uh, no, the idea, in fact, uh, the project is not meant. Um, well, I think it's uh, really Wikipedia going towards uh, uh, primary school. It's not the other way around. So the project is not meant to bring uh, children or pupils to access directly, so this is not the main target. The main target is to improve the uh, quality of content on Wikipedia. And then it can be uh, teachers, it can be educators, it can be families to uh, use it. The idea is also, we're talking about something that is uh, uh, more and more available. So that is why I think we, we need to also consider this uh, uh, opportunity as a, a place. But uh, no, we don't expect uh, uh, particularly very young children to be able to access it. What is interesting though, one of the interviews in South Africa, very uh, nice finding that came out was an interview with a head of a school and he said, uh, um, well, it will, uh, uh, this kind of project related to content will make uh, a good teacher, excellent teacher, and it will make uh, good students, uh, excellent uh, students. So I think it's also nice that you're providing also people that are already engaged with uh, other tools. But I think uh, uh, our main goal is actually somehow as volunteers on Wikipedia, as people active on uh, the Wikimedia project, okay, to say, well, we, we claim we're an educational tool, okay, let's see what we can do to even do it better. So, effort, because the effort, I don't think it, it would be huge, but it's but kind it of the other quality of the articles we are providing on general knowledge. That's why also we, uh, why we conducted this, uh, this feasibility study. If, the, if our articles would be used in, in primary schools, which are really basic education. So, I have another question concerning the quality of articles. You said it's important for you to have a quality issue which, is, which fits to the affordances of a primary school. So concerning a uh, country or whatever. So what is a good article for primary school in your opinion? How, how, what parameters you have to, are, that, are these parameters comparable to the parameters used by Wikipedia articles, or are they different? Well, actually, that, that was my part. Um, since we have little, very little time, uh, I couldn't explain the, really how I conducted the, the, the assessment. Actually, I, um, I kind of used a, a quality assessment, like the, the one on the English Wikipedia. Uh, like checking if, it's, if it was an, a featured article or a good article, in, uh, basing mostly on the ideas of the three different communities. Then, uh, about the, 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 the list of the articles, of course there were the, 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 the African countries, there was, there was Italy, of course, because we are only, all, all, also planning on doing it in, in Italy, and then we, uh, we drawn some, uh, some very generic articles, like planets, like uh, trees, like sky, universe, earth, or hygiene, even HIV, ID, uh, IDS, because of course it's, it is a problem. Uh, it is some, uh, some problem that in the uh, primary school for us should be, should, should be taught. Anyway, if you wish, I can give you the, the table I, I made with, uh, with all the things. Yeah, 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 but uh, yeah, it's up to you whether to uh, We can, uh, we can meet out. Also. I just actually have a short remark. Um, the Dutch Wikipedia, um, they made a special software program, which analyzed all the Wikipedia articles and then categorized them to reading levels for students automatically, so that able the Wikipedia project to filter out those and show those that are in a simple enough to for each age level. It's a really interesting project. Fine. Later you can give me the name. Thank you.